Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your second Node.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can install Node.js on our computer. Alright then, so the first thing we want to do is head over to Node.js.org, I'll leave the link down below. And you want to download one of these versions of Node.js to your computer. Now there's two to choose from on the homepage. There's version 4.4.4 or 6.2. And the difference is that this 4 one on the left is the latest stable version. This one on the right, although it's the latest version with all the new features, it may not be stable. Okay, so for most of you, I'm going to suggest this one on the left. So go ahead, click that and download it to your computer. Go through the installation steps. Don't change anything. It will take you about three minutes and then Node.js will be installed. I've already gone ahead and download this one just for the fun of it. So... Now that we've installed Node on our computer, how do we actually know that it is installed? Well, what you want to do is come down here and search for CMD, which is going to bring up the command prompt. And then in here, just write Node space hyphen V. And this is going to tell us what version of Node is installed. So if you've been successful in installing Node, then it's going to throw back the version there to you. You can see mine is 6.2, but yours might be different. Okay, so when I said in a previous tutorial that we're going to be using the command line, this is what I meant. Whenever we want to run a Node application or do something in Node, we're going to write a command in this command line right here. But I find this a little bit cumbersome because I'm going to be working in Atom, this text editor, and I don't like constantly switching between the two, although it's not that hard. So what I've done is gone ahead and downloaded a package in Atom, which has given me this terminal at the bottom. So now I can just write node commands in here instead of switching to this thing, okay? So to do that, what you wanna do is go to File, then go to Settings, and you wanna to go to Install to search for this terminal. Now, I've already got it installed, and I'm gonna show you what that's called. It's called Platform IO hyphen IDE hyphen Terminal. So just search for this in the install section right here and then install it onto Atom, okay? So now that we've done that, you'll notice we can just write anything we would do in the other one for Node in here instead. So if I put Node hyphen V again in here, press enter, it's gonna do the same thing and tell me I've got version 6.2 installed. Okay, cool. So you'll notice now on the left, I've got open the files that I uploaded to GitHub. So I downloaded those and then I right clicked on here, went to add project folder, then navigated to where I downloaded those files from GitHub and opened them up into Atom. So at the moment we've got this public folder and the assets and this is all going to be for that to-do list application we make later on. We're not going to use them just yet. But what I'm going to do is come to the top folder and go to new file and I'm going to create a new file called app.js just to test out Node. And then inside here, I'm going to say console.log and I'm just going to put a little message, hey ninjas, in there like that and save it. So now, if I want to run this application or this file in Node, what do I do? Well, I come down to the terminal and I write Node space and then the file name which I want to fire or execute, which is app.js. And actually, I can just leave off the JS. I can just put app, the name of the file. Click enter, and that's going to run this file for you, and you'll see that this is logged down here to the terminal. Cool. However, to do this, you'll notice I am in this directory in the terminal, Node.js playlist, where this uh, file is found. So you'll need to be there as well. Wherever the file is found, to run it, you have to be there, or give the full path to the file. So to change directory, if you're in a different directory in here, you just do cd, and to go up a directory, you do dot dot. That's going to bring me up a directory. You see, it's gone to YouTube sites now. Now to go back into a directory that you're currently in, like to choose a folder from the directory you're currently in, you say cd, then the folder name. So I can say node-js-playlist, and that's going to go back into this folder. Okay, so make sure you're in the folder where your app.js is, and then you can run it with node app like so okay cool so now we've successfully installed node and we've run our first node application even though it's pretty pants um we're going to move on to some more advanced stuff over the next few tutorials so until then if you have any questions leave those down below don't forget to share subscribe and like and i'll see you in the next video